Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're going to be playing Remed Remedium Sentinels. If I can get the name right. Um, Some cool things in this game. I haven't really checked out much about it, but so far I'm liking the rogue light aspect of it. Um, Different character selection as well. This seems pretty cool. Okay. Glad it looks okay. We're starting off as the gladiator. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is like a you know like a vampire survivors type game, from what I know. Here, actually, let me pause the game so I can go to the store page to actually get a good um, like description for it. So action roguelike, bullet hell roguelike shooter. So yeah, it's a auto shooter. And it's a roguelike. Okay, roguelite. There's like a storyline behind it, which is like, we're in like a plague-filled world, and what was, it? okay, that is a cool thing to, is there, um, I'm not sure, images around you, connect, connects enemies and deals from, and deals them their collective damage. Okay. So it just does damage like over time, this emitter. How much damage does it do? Can it look like maybe? Or, or no, is that 30? Where did I get 10 from? Create the decoy, decoy target, multiple we'll, we'll launch rocket system. Uh, let's go with heavy rain. Ooh, I took a little bit of damage. I got a little too close. I like the missiles. Missiles. Missiles? I don't know. Nice. Okay, what about that campfire? Like, what are we doing with that campfire over there? Can I, can I do anything with the campfires? Okay, that guy's a little tanky. Oh, that guy's a little tanky as well. Anything? Campfires do anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay. What is this scrap stuff? There's like, okay, there's barrels. Do the barrels do anything? Do I just collect scrap from killing things? Probably. Yep. That is indeed how this works. Uh, more experience. Beat damage. Yeah, let's go with that. Is there, now, is there like a limit to how many things I can have? Also, what is this shift? Ah, oh, it's a dash. Okay. Nice. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that's actually really nice. I'm assuming the dash... I mean, if you have, like, a freaking, like, 50-ton metal machine running at you at, like, super speed, I assume the dash probably would deal damage. But then again, I'm also not entirely sure. Damages around you. Let's go with, yeah, increased fire rate. I think that's a good idea. Okay, does not seem like it does damage to enemies when I dash. But Still really nice to have that extra movement. Movement is extremely important in games. I feel like people, like, don't really attention to movement. Hold on. Hold on. If I'm moving backwards and then I press shift. Okay, it does. Okay. I feel like there's been times where I've pressed it and it hasn't done anything. Maybe that's just in my mind. It might just be in my imagination. I think it probably is. Because now that I'm testing it out, it's working fine. For speed damage, more rockets, more damage. Let's go with that. That looks like a lot of scrap. Um, drone that flies around the sentinel and bites and Why would it bite enemies? Why not, why not have something that, like, you know, does damage? Why bite them? I don't know, I just find that funny. I feel like I'm going for it. But, like, why? 
Why out of all things, why bite? And it's a wasp, so that so technically doesn't it actually sting enemies? Isn't that what it is actually technically doing? It's stinging them? You can see I hit shift and it didn't seem like it did anything. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Probably, I'm probably wrong. Uh, yeah, for, for experience. It's always gonna be good. Go for some more experience. Oh yeah, I think it's if I'm not moving and then I dash, yeah. So if I'm not moving in any direction and then I dash, I don't move at all. I just stand still. Yeah, like that. Okay. That that makes that makes more sense than it just frightening or whatever. Whatever I originally had in mind that it that I thought it did. It is a little annoying that it doesn't just like dash you forward even if you're not moving. I feel like that's what it should do. Sometimes, you know, you can't always hit the dash button because it's a, I mean, at least with my setup, it's a little weird on the keyboard to have shift as the dash key. Um, I guess I could just use my pinky instead, but that's just, oh, that's very uncomfortable. I'm used to using like, sh using my ring. Yeah, my ring finger as like my button, as my um, finger to hit the shift key. I could use my pinky, I guess. I'll just have to get used to used to that a little bit. A little uncomfortable, but it makes more sense for this game to do that. Some people might be like, wait, why don't you use your pinky already over here for shift? What is this thing? Is this anything? Ooh, what is this? Do I need to destroy this guy? Can I destroy this guy? What happens if I destroy this guy? Should I destroy this guy? Oh, now, I have, now I've unlocked a new character. That's pretty cool. Wasn't too sure what that would actually do, but... I wasn't sure if I like was destroying the cage and then it was gonna be like this boss thing that I had to do the fighting. But turns out nope. It's it's just these mutated enemies, they're the only things I'm gonna end up having to fight. Uh makes it for a little bit amount of time. You know what, yeah, let's go with this decoy. Here's how this is gonna work. Where's the decoy? I don't see a decoy anywhere. Do I have to like use the decoy? What is that? Is that health? Did I create a decoy? Oh. Oh, okay, we got a chest. Yeah, give me that. More, more experience. I'm always curious if, like, how how worth it is to go for like more experience, like.
Like, is it actually worth it? Or would it be better to go for an up like, a weapon upgrade? I'm not sure. Like, this decor thing doesn't really seem that good. Maybe, it, maybe it's better than I think it is, but... It hasn't really done too much, because it doesn't last for very long. I wish it lasts for a little bit longer than how long it is possible. Can I go up onto rocks? Like, if I go over to, like, here, right? Ooh, this is a very open area. Is there anything of importance here? No. All I did was create a piece. Okay, but yeah. I mean, if the rock is, like, touching the ground, can I go up onto said rock? Can I walk onto rock? No. Okay. Good to know. Um, let's go more damage with the wasp. Hopefully get like a better level up for, for the wasp because the wasp right for the time being is uh, not that good. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab that thing. Try to kill off like a load of enemies. Um, nice. Got max upgrade for that. I mean, it doesn't hurt going for like a, you know, the experience upgrade. It actually isn't really doing much, though, because. Like, the, the smaller experience, which is what is mainly dropped, um, they don't really, they only give one experience. So obviously, it, you know, adding 10% to one is not going to make a huge significant difference. Um, you're not really gaining much more experience. So that's kind of why I'm, like, debating if it is or if it even was worth it going for the experience upgrade, since now Max I can't go for, you know, more experience upgrades. Um, hmm. Not sure. Really not sure. The rockets have been really nice and really good for me, though. It's hard to tell how much, like, damage I've actually taken. I mean, obviously I've taken damage, but I don't think my health bar at the top left has really changed at all. I don't think it's gone up or down or anything at all. Which, that might be a visual glitch that needs to be changed. Or like a visual thing that needs to be changed. Because otherwise it's like, yeah, it's kind of hard to know how much damage you've really taken if the game doesn't explicitly tell you. Also, I, I picked up the thing and it didn't do anything, or is that the thing that I need to pick up? Is that thing on the, is that on the ground that I need to pick up? Oh, I took it. Yeah, see, my health bar at the top left hasn't changed. Even though my health bar in-game obviously has changed. Like, my, the health bar above my character has gone down significantly, but the health bar on the top left hasn't changed at all. It's still at, you know, 100%. try to use this opportunity to grab this stuff over here. Oh wow, they're actually frozen for a very long time. And now they're back. And now I can grab that thing, which didn't really do much. And I'd love a little bit more help. Because yeah, I am very low on health at the moment. Did that give me health? Um, it definitely looks like it did. At the same time, it's a little hard to tell since 
how far the top left doesn't change. I just kind of have to try to look at the little tiny health bar above my character and base it off of that. Okay, throws everything, nice. And try to go back for other stuff. Go for this thing here. Which was a little bit more health, which is nice. Okay. Oh, we're actually surviving for a good amount of time. It is nice that the health bar at least like lights up whenever you take damage, but I wish it was a little, you know, obviously it would show up on top left. I would like that. But it's alright. It's not the end of the world. Um, that doesn't really make any sense. Um, them to just kind of be able to, you know, walk over the lava. Um, so that might be something to change to have, like, maybe like a wall or something around it that the enemies, like, spawn out of it. Obviously, like, the guys who can fly, then yeah, that's fine. They, they fly over the lava. But these guys that are walking, I mean, they're kind of just floating in the air, walking onto the lava. You know, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Just something to keep in mind, I guess. I wish enemies would take knockback as well. Maybe that's something to, you know, I guess if the developer wants to add that, I guess they could. I mean, it's kind of up to them, but that's just kind of something that I have in mind is like dealing knockback to uh, enemies when you hit them with like a melee attack or something. Okay. Hit 15 minutes. Why do I have a feeling things are going to get a lot harder now? Oh, never mind. Cleared the stage. Nice. Unlock the church. Uh, let's see. 253 scrap. Nice. One more projectile. Oh, that's really expensive. Okay. Restoration. What? Um, not sure how big of a fan I am of something. I mean, obviously, plus one projectile, that's pretty crazy, but I mean, it's early on. It's early on for this game, so there's destined to be some changes. Actually, it's not even really that early on. It's been, it's been out for almost a year now, so it's, it, I mean, I guess it's kind of early. Um, let's see. Uh, I might try church maybe in like the next video. What is Rush? What does that mean? Oh. So you just kind of go for like a high score? Ah, okay. Okay, well, yeah, maybe in the future I'll give that a try, but yeah. For the time being, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Remedium Sentinels. Uh, I'll play it more in the future and stuff because it definitely does seem like a pretty cool game. I just wish the upgrades were a little bit more like like you have like these weaker upgrades and then you have like super powerful upgrades and you don't really have anything in between like you have auto repair which is kind of but then you have time control which is 5000 which seems really like overpowered then x-ray and then x-ray seems all right and then yeah projectile add one more projectile to all weapons that seems really good so yeah i wish there was a little bit more and then and then even like the lower like upgrades are only like increased pickup radius by five percent so like even the weaker upgrades aren't really that good they are very weak and then the and then these are like i guess intermediate upgrades but they're really expensive and then this is just like end game upgrade so there's not really like the intermediate upgrades are still expensive <laughs> the only thing that you can afford are like the cheaper upgrades. i don't know maybe i'm just rambling on and 
none of this actually matters and my input is like invalid but it's just something that i had it's just my thoughts you know um i do like the beast area though this is pretty nice to have especially if you're going for like a high score i guess you could like kind of keep in mind like what um what health and stuff i guess if you're like really into the game but anyways my name is Sam. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video from Medium Sentinels. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Me and the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.